I don't know what happened, but my sunscreen like dried out. Can you see in there? That is not a liquid, it's like clay. Buongiorno! So I got my Cornetto Jam and my Macchiato Tall this morning. It looks amazing. And I'm just getting ready to go figure out how to get to Burano and then maybe Lido Beach. First Burano though, spend kind of the day there, maybe lunch there, and then make my way back to the beach. It's gonna be long. Like it takes a while to get there by the um, boats. So it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping to make it back here by dinner so that I can just eat the food that I got from the grocery store yesterday. Okay, we're walking by <laughs> Alright, I think I got the right pass. I just got like the water bus all day pass, like one day pass for 20 euros. But I thought it was gonna be like a hard card because I thought when you validated it, it was like electronic. Like you hit it on a machine and then it beeped. But this is just a piece of paper. So, I don't know. I don't get it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't need ID. So I was trying to figure out why everyone who was asking that they wanted to go to Burano were leaving. So I decided to try to read the sign and I was able to dissect it enough to say, see that like the regular service ended at 10 a.m. and that it will continue at one. It's 10.45 right now. So I'm gonna go try to see if there's another port that will take me there sooner. I don't wanna wait until one to go to Burano, but this is something that I should have Looked up last night or something, but it's fine. Normally I start my day so early and the one day I decide not to it's not in my favor <laughs> Apparently there's like a rowing race at Burano until like 4 p.m. <laughs> oh my god. It would have been cool if I was there already. Maybe could have watched it, but I can't get there. At least to my understanding, I don't think I could go before 4 p.m. Now I might just try to go to Lido for the morning and then go to Burano for the evening. I've walked back and forth from these like few stations over these bridges like five times already. I'm like sweating to try to figure out where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Solo traveling, I'm doing great, I'm doing great. <laughs> I asked a gentleman, he said to get to Lido, it's line number 52. Does that mean 5.2? Because I only see 5.2. Okay, yeah, it does say Lido. Okay. All right, maybe I'm in the right spot now, my goodness. didn't even know about until yesterday. I'm just gonna follow the families of Italians who look like they're going to the beach. It's Sunday, so I predict it will be quite busy, but that's okay. I'm just excited to be here. Always after I get off those like water buses, I feel like I can't walk right. Like I'm, I feel like I keep trying to catch my step as if we're still moving. I do need to find um, sunscreen since mine was broken. <laughs> All right, I got sunscreen and a little trail mix uh, snack, and now I'm walking to the beach, La Spiaggia. the beach and managed to change underneath of my clothes into my bathing suit but uh yeah i'm here at the beach now just gonna kind of uh lounge out and hang out until i feel hungry enough for lunch it's gonna be a good day this is awesome i'm <laughs> at like the beach in italy okay it's fine everything's fine i do want to go for a swim at some point i love swimming like in the ocean I know this isn't the ocean this is the sea but i love swimming in the sea so i just I'm gonna have to hope I can trust these Italian families around me enough to leave my stuff for like 
like a little bit. And for that reason exactly, I probably won't go in the water for too long. But I guess that's what happens when you're a solo traveler. You just kind of have to trust that hopefully nobody will take my stuff. But yeah, here at Lido Beach. Beach. I got some coffee ice cream, cafe gelato, or I guess gelato cafe. And um, now I'm just gonna walk around this little town and then eventually find my way to Toronto. It's so cute okay. here. There's all these like little shops and restaurants and families. It's a really cool little spot and this is melting very fast. <laughs> All right, I walked around for a bit longer, just kind of like window shopping, looking at the different shops, sitting down, people watching. Uh, this is a cute little island. I mean, it's definitely like a beach town. So there's lots of like beach shops, uh, places for you to get hats or bathing suits or whatever. Uh, but now I think I'm gonna go try to find how to get to Burano. Pretty sure I saw that there was a water bus at um, 2.30 and it's 2.19 right now. So gonna go see if that's true because sometimes the signs don't really make sense to me so I don't know if you guys can see this because it's kind of showing up weird on my camera but that one says Burano C at 1429 oh that's B and E C is this way to Brano and I believe this is the island that is known for making lace and then of course all of the beautifully colored buildings so I'm just gonna go walk around and explore now and I'll share all of the beautiful views with you guys Oh my god, I took a photo right there with Alice three years ago. I love finding the spots that I once was. Oh my god, I can't believe they still have the same drape and everything over their door. I literally was in that exact same spot three years ago. <gasps> that is so cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> wow, I'll never get over these buildings. I wonder if they paint them every single year to keep them so bright and vibrant. Okay, I've been walking around for quite some time now just taking in all the beauty and I just realized it's four o'clock and all I've eaten today was that Carnetto, like a handful of trail mix and that gelato that I had. So I really think I need to go find like a real meal. Just letting the day slip away without eating. <laughs> I may need to make sure I'm eating. Alright, I'm glad I found that place for lunch because every other restaurant I walked by, it was like a three euro cover charge and every meal was at least 14 euros. And I was like, ah, I don't want to spend that much money again. And so that was kind of like a to-go place. Um, so it's got that little pizza and aperitivo and it was eight euros 50. Not bad at all for a little lunch and then I'll just eat dinner tonight at home in my hostel. I guess this is a gas station for boats. So that's pretty interesting. I am back in the exact same park where me, Shay, and Alice shared fruit and enjoyed the view of the water. 
three years ago. I know I've been super nostalgic and reminiscing a lot the past few days, but it's really weird that I've been here before and now I'm hanging out here again. And in a way, it feels like it's been forever, and in a way, it feels like no time has passed at all, which is crazy that I'm in Burano here three years ago, and it feels like I could have just been here yesterday. Your arms have carried me for miles Here's where I belong I don't even know where I am, but I crossed over a bridge from Burano, like right by the main port of Burano, and ended up in this garden that has an art exhibition called uh, Suspended Animals. <laughs> so it's like an elephant. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I and mean, there's a vineyard on this side of me. This is so interesting. I don't know how I got here, but I'm gonna walk around and enjoy it because I have some time to kill. This is kind of sad. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not very good at interpreting art, but um, this is, the rest of it's very beautiful. There's like flowers and the vineyard and this tower right here. Your arms have carried me for miles. Here's where I belong. Oh, this is a fig tree. Look at that really like premature fig right there. Oh man, I love that. I love figs so much. I literally could never leave this island. I want to just stay here for the rest of the evening, which I can. I just want to make sure that I don't like miss the last bus, which I'm pretty sure they run 24 seven. They just get um, farther and farther apart as the evening goes on. But I think I'm just gonna go back into like the beauty of all the colorful buildings, Burano and the heart of Burano and sit on the edge of a canal. People watch, watch the world go by, kind of just wonder about what the heck I'm doing with my life right now. Uh, this is awesome. I'm really happy that I came here today. I'm actually really happy that today played out the way it did with me going to Burano second because I just feel like I can spend a little more time here. Plus it was nice to be at the beach in the morning when the sun um, was nice and high in the sky. And yeah, today really played out well. Anyway, I have been to Murano before and um, since I only had a day to go to like Lido and Burano. I just decided to not go to Murano because pretty much is just glass blowing. So if you're not interested in like seeing how glass is blown, which I've already seen once before, then there's not really too much of a point of going to the island. So I decided to stick with just Burano and Lido. So yeah. I've had my camera on like the wrong setting all day, but it's fine. Hopefully it didn't distort the quality too bad. Earlier I realized like I hit something and so it made it really um, bad quality. So I reset all the settings and then of course it took it off the settings that I normally like. So I was just filming in like 60 frames per second instead of 24. So it might have looked a little too clear. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I don't like to film on 60 frames per second. So it might have looked a little bit different than it does now. But we're back on the normal setting. Sorry if that messed up a little bit. But um, yeah, I was sitting in a park for a little bit, but then I decided to just come sit on the edge here with all the buildings, the reflections of the buildings and the water. I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit and then we'll see what happens. But it's been such a good day. <laughs> so crazy that I'm here. So I'm gonna soak it all in and be in the moment for a little bit. I will never get over how beautiful Burano is. All 
right, I'm sad to say, I think it's time to leave Burano. I'm seriously so sad I could cry. I don't wanna leave, I could just stay here. I wish I could just like get a place and stay here tonight and wake up to the sunrise in Burano, but um, I realized that I've walked 10 miles today and my hips are really starting to hurt, so I think it's time to head back to the hostel and start to prepare for my trip to Bologna tomorrow. Yes, I am already moving on to the next place. <laughs> So I'm going to Bologna tomorrow, so I think I want to head back, maybe do a bit of washing, pack up, go to sleep, get up, go to Bologna tomorrow. So I have to say goodbye to Burano, but today has been seriously one of the best days. I'm so happy with it, but um, yeah, let's go get on the water bus, head home, home, I say in air quotes. <laughs> All right, I'm back in Venezia. I actually had really nice conversations with this Australian couple who live in London. They just have a week off of work and decided to go to Venice. Um, and then also a good conversation with a professor from Michigan and she has nine students with her and they've been going around Italy for four weeks. So that was really cool. And it was kind of nice to have some real English conversations for a second. I love, love, love speaking Italian, but I can't have conversations yet. So sometimes you just need social interaction. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm back in the hospital.